Hey guys, welcome back to Burgundy Blue Commentary. Your girl, hold on one second, I had to get my little blanket. <clears throat> Your girl is still chilly from being outside. Uh, I was just getting, I remember guys, I told y'all I got over a cold last week. And shout out to the Late Night Crew. If you guys follow Shay, um, he's the Late Night Crew is over there. Please don't leave Shay to come over here. I know sometimes I'd be in the middle of a live and I could be saying something. People like, Late Night Crew on. I'd be like, okay. <laughs> I love Shay. I love Shay. So I don't want nobody to do that to him. Like, oh, Burgundy's on. <clears throat> Even though I have a smaller audience, you guys can catch Burgundy Blue replay. Um, and shout out to Late Night Crew. Shout out to Kiana Belcher, trustee Kiana Belcher, for wearing a Late Night Crew hoodie tonight to the Village Board meeting. That was a great way to show support. That was awesome. I was like, what? Because I. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'm going to heat up some tea. Because I was... Oh, yeah. I got Late Night Crew on my TV, so he didn't lose anybody either. Thanks so, man. <laughs> I got him on my TV. He's a, he Actually, I could I could turn it up so y'all could hear it. Uh, I got this him on my TV. The oh, that's his I have canceled my door. But yeah, I got him on my TV so he doesn't get, you know, nobody dropping off. I don't know how YouTube works. Um, So he's on my TV for sure. Um... So I wanted to go live because it was getting late and I always try to give courtesy to everybody while, you know, so, you know, so I, I feel like I gave courtesy to everybody. I try to check the YouTube streets, make sure they got their audience set. And then I go from there. Okay. So we're here just talking about how I feel. I felt like I needed to talk about it because I feel a certain kind of way being out there. Okay. Let me let me address the chat first. Um, John QQ, good evening, John QQ. Let's get it. No justice, no peace. Yeah, interesting. Hey, oh boy, today was a day, so man, it was a day. Um, the, hey, Indigo Arena. I didn't. I was trying not to get in anybody's way, camera wise. So I was trying to not even scare y'all with the way I looked either, because <laughs> it was rainy. And it was cold, and I just had got over a, a respiratory virus, what they call a respiratory infection or something like that. So I just got over that and the flu. So I didn't want to be out there, but I got in the mo mode, and I got in the movement, and I started talking to people, hearing their stories, and I went live a little late because I was like, I don't want to go live. Then it was the energy of the people. It just made me go live. I was like hearing all these stories. I saw old people from high school. Um, I saw people that um, I got to talk to uh, Miss Cheryl and her son. I actually got some paperwork from her. We're going to have to pass out. Then I started seeing seniors and they were um, cold, wet. Um, not not just all seniors because, you know, Mr. Lee was straight. <laughs> Valeria Stubbs was straight, but um, I started seeing people like, I don't know if you guys caught my video. We're going to go over some of the video because I was in the moment and I had this tunnel vision and it was like, I didn't know what to do because I was so nervous and my anxiety took a hold of me. So um, I also brought two people with me. So they wanted to get in line, but they weren't letting the seniors or the handicapped in, right? So... I had I kept on having to leave. That's why you guys saw me go in and out. Sometimes it was like the signal would cut us off. But um, some of the seniors were cold, so I would go get some tea. I would go get some candy. Like they're like my sugar low. Here goes some candy. You know, here goes some coffee and tea because and or I give you a ride to the nearest store for the bathroom because it wasn't any bathroom over there. And if you moved, your parking space was gone, and it was just a lot going on. So that's what I was doing the whole time. I ended up being like a semi shuttle. Like if it was somebody I knew, I'm like, yeah, I could take you right up the street to Walgreens to use the bathroom, or you know what? Hey, I'll go. I'll get you a sneak a Snickers, or <laughs> that's exactly what I ended up being. I got a piece of butterscotch candy in my purse. <laughs> so I was doing more than that than vlogging. So I'm sorry because I didn't even realize. I'm like, they knew it was gonna be a protest. So why they put bear clays up? They could have put a porta potty out there too, but they didn't. 
And thanks for being there. They wouldn't give you a seat. Um, no, we what happened was did you hear so okay? We'll go over my video. But um, even trustee Edward Steve, former trustee Edward Steve didn't get in. I saw Stephanie out there. I didn't get to talk to her. Stephanie went, we didn't get to get in. Mr. Lee didn't get to get in. Uh, what's our girl? Miss Trina didn't get to get in. A lot of people. Oh, the one who was um her her grandbaby in the Easter egg, Miss Cheryl. I met her. I actually got some information from her. Uh, Miss Cheryl, I hope I, you gave me some paperwork. If you ever, she said she knew about this channel. If anybody know Miss Cheryl and her son, can you tell her to email me at burgundybluecommentary at gmail.com? She gave me some paperwork. Maybe it's on the paperwork she gave me, but I didn't get to finish looking at it. But I want to cover the rest. Um, I did meet Miss Cheryl. Um, Miss uh, Miss Sherry, um, I see her on the Dalton Politics. She was out there. She didn't get to get in. So it was a lot of people that didn't get to get in that was out there. Now, the first thing they did was say seniors and people with like walkers and stuff go to the front, of course. So that's where we were. So the rest of us that could withstand being outside, we just stood outside. And no, they didn't let, they cut it off. They cut it off, which made Jedediah, who was organizing the march from what I understood, it made him call for that open acts violation. Yeah, keep late night <laughs> crew up. Hello, Miss from Suriname. Ooh, that sounds just you should run for office. Much respect. <laughs> I would, I wish I could. Let me tell you that those trustees, they did their thing. And thank you for that. They did their thing. I could never have been in that calm in their shoes. Hey, Gardens, thanks for being here. Watts, Mr. Watts is in the house, always speaking up for what's right. Thank you for being here. Burgundy Blue commentary. <laughs> yeah. I had, uh, yeah, they told me I had a respiratory infection. Thank you. And I got over it, but I, now I was out there in the rain like, yeah. Tiffany starts acting out and talking crazies when things don't go her way. Yeah, I was bundled up. <laughs> I'm wondering if she's going to try and cancel the annual township meeting next Tuesday. You know what? If, um, now this is the thing. I told you guys, this is a separate subject. I told y'all I'll talk about it in a second. Y'all know uh, Andrew Holmes didn't show up. <laughs> sign of, <laughs> sign of what? <laughs> that says a lot. He didn't show up. The activist, Andrew Holmes didn't show up. The activist, the man that chases down and does citizens arrest did not show up when he's accused of something. Before I, I got 50 people in the chat. Please hit the like button. Please, we got 10 people that hit the like. Please hit the like button. And all the ways to support your girl is in the description box below. Okay, just want to put that in there. You being here is enough. But if you want to support your girl, it's in the description box below. Okay, so this is what happened. He didn't even show up. So if they canceled that Thornton Township meeting. Well, maybe because Mr. Watts, what if they lost a case today and they lost the Dalton case? It could be. It could be. Today was like, ooh, yeah, they could. She could try it. I saw Ed Steve didn't get it. He did not. He did not. He was out there in the rain with us. Um, but shout out to Trustee Edward Steve. I'm actually sorry, I got, got the hiccups too. I'm actually happy because all of us, I, I know that sounds awful. Me say I'm happy and get in. All of us was looking towards him to try to um, dissect the trustee ease, if you would like the, the, the legal ease and all of that. We was like, what that mean? Okay, do that mean this meeting? And um, he was patient with each and every one of us and gave trust, former trustee Edward Steve, he gave us an answer. Um, it was another former trustee out there. He will remain, uh, he will remain nameless, but I knew him from, a, I, I used to live on his block <laughs> and he was out there and that was what sucked. I lived on his block and I said, Hey, Mr. So-and-so. And he was like, nah, no nah, comment. No comment. Okay. All right. <laughs> go, go off, bruh. 
<laughs> we weren't trying to get to you anyway. We were trying to ask Trustee Edward Steve because we know he's active in the community. So you could calm down. That no photos, please. We do not want, to, sir. We're good. We're good. Uh, good day, former trust. We didn't even give him the former trustee. We we're just like, okay, Mister. Um, because um, we just were outside. Couldn't hit it. Like next time we know somebody bring a jumbotron. <laughs> <laughs> right we couldn't hear anything so it was whoever had it on their phone we had to listen in so then when i you know your girl i like to ask questions because i don't want my channel to be the end all be all on what is happening right i'd like to try to answer so i'm like okay if they're canceling the meeting is that a win or not i didn't know what was going on so that's what i was trying to figure out and then when do we pick up the next meeting so uh trustee edward steve told us and we'll go over that it's april the 8th if you guys didn't know and that will be over at the park district where it's room i'm so glad you're on i was telling you in the late night crew but <laughs> oh too many people i'm so proud of you part of history in the making baby oh thank you mara it was very nerve-wracking so i don't know if i could do it again <laughs> i was i wasn't scared I, uh, I felt like uh, the energy from you guys had my back. I felt safe on where I had dipped off at. I felt like not that many people knew. It was a couple of people that knew me, but not that many. And I was able to maneuver. So I, but I have to get better equipment. So like I said, everything you guys put into this channel will go to that. Just like you see me do the ride alongs, just like you see me um, out there, I'll put the money to that because I didn't know how to do it via StreamYard. So my camera was facing the other way and I was holding it in my hand. So forgive me for that, guys, because I didn't even know I was going to go live. I just figured out how to do it. So, um, yeah, everything you guys put in the channel, it goes to that. You don't have to give me anything but a like. Please hit that like button. But I was just letting you know. Uh, that's my next thing. I got the tripod thingy that stick in the car, but now I need the thing that I can hold in my hand, I guess. So I'll start working on that right away. Because I, I now I saw all those cool people with it. Like it was one guy, Midwest Auditor, some Midwest something. He had all kind of equipment. So I said, oh, okay, that's what I need. I, that's what I need. That's why I said Burgundies. I don't think we can <laughs> go in as media because we basically holding up a phone with a broke phone case. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to take what we can get. I don't think they were ready for such a big crowd. And if you, hey, Sarah J, if you just joining, um, I stopped by every every few minutes. I went by at, at like 8.30 in the morning. Then I went by at 10.30. Then I went by at 2. Told you guys how the barricade. So I drove out there three times. And then um, when we got there, I told you it wasn't as big of, of a crowd as it ended up being. The crowd came a little later. People was getting off work about six o'clock. They started coming in. I felt bad that a lot of people got locked out of me tonight. Absolutely terrible. Yep, but good thing, right? Because they, 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 they had the opens meeting act we were talking about. So what was the plan? Let people stay out there in the cold the whole time? Yes, because they. Okay, so that's what we want to talk about. Th this is what happened when we got to the door. I'm going to go over my video because I didn't even get to watch it either. So we'll watch it together and I'll try to tell y'all how it felt to be out there. Um, so this is what happened. It started off with um, once they, okay, the media post started at 630. People started lining up about five. Police was there already. Um, uh, I got video too. So I'll go over the video tomorrow because I didn't have time to upload it. But okay, so the police started arriving. The bear, the the little orange, I call it traffic. You guys told me what it's called traffic cone, not traffic cones, traffic barricades, maybe. They were put out. So Jedediah came around and said, Y'all can't block traffic. You can't do it. That's against the law. He moved the barricades. Do you know some of the people that were hired started blocking it? Not not the protesters, I'm calling them the peaceful assembly people. They, the people that work for the village, they started using their bodies to block it until cars came <laughs> to block traffic. And it was, I might've got that on camera. We'll watch it. It was crazy. 
I got to meet Kara. When I first got there, I saw her. She told me she would have a Alexis t-shirt on and she did. And I saw her. She beautiful, beautiful woman. And I didn't want to bother her because I felt like it was emotional enough for her to come. But I did see her and we did get to embrace. I did not want to bother her because I figured she had to have some kind of mindset to go into that. Andrew Holmes' chair was spinning. Did Miss Kim come, y'all? Did Miss Kim, who quit, did she come to say she can't make this up and then proceed to say they walk out of every single board meeting? When she started, I have to get, watch the board meeting with you guys. When she started chastising the news, like, y'all don't never report. I was like, girl, I'll let it go. He wasn't there. What will Tiffany plan be when all the people show up? Monday's meeting is going to be long. Yep. Yep. And she's not going to come to that meeting at the field house. Probably not because she has it. And they invite everybody. The trustees invite everybody. It was a violation of the Brown Act to not let the citizens speak and accommodate them. Yeah. And then they turned public comment down to two minutes. That, and I love that Cara still got up there because I can still say what I want to say. Nurse Petty, thank you so much. So, man, I can hear the chanting in the board meeting. Yeah. Mm hmm And you know what? It was it was chanting, but it was a, maybe, maybe only three bullhorns out there. I'm trying to give y'all the vibe. So you get there. It's a peaceful assembly. But the only time it got, it was peaceful, period. The only time it got a little rowdy was People were like, I was here first. I was right here first because people were scared they weren't going to be able to speak for public comment. And I'm going to go over that. Um, Mara <laughs> said, man, him not showing up basically said, it's me. I'm the unnamed trustee. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, people told on the violence of the police. And I've been waiting on the cheesecake. I keep calling him cheesecake. The funnel cake man who 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 was very beloved in this community. The trustees have to vote to pay bills and payroll, so she'll be treating a rock at a hard place. Now that's what I'm. That's when you're gonna see the change, because if those people not get their check, like I said, Delgado was sitting back there. Like I don't know what kind of how his payments are dispersed, but when Delgado was sitting back there, like wait a minute, wait a minute, you mean I ain't gonna wait? They they not I ain't gonna get my check. His whole attitude changed. <laughs> so imagine being a week behind on payroll. Wow. She, and then we don't even know what's going on with Clerk Key in the bank account yet, right? And you guys, I was outside. Um, um, so I didn't get to hear the board meeting, so we have to go over that later. She lost the trust of the people. That's a huge blow. She technically has the power, not the trust. She's the mayor of nobody. Yeah, and you know what? Let me say this. I've always been on this. I don't, I just don't believe she's that bad. That's been me. Like, guys, let me show you two parts of the story. But now to hear these testimonies and to see how Lacey was still going to violate everybody's rights in public on camera um, by shutting the meeting down, how they kept certain people out for sure, how they kept us out in the cold and said, okay, so the meeting supposed to be at 630. We're going to go over it because I asked y'all to timestamp for me because I really couldn't tell from my phone because I didn't, I didn't prepare to go live. So the meeting was supposed to start at 6.30, right? They were supposed to start letting us in at 6. They did not. The meeting did not start at 6.30. Then they come about 7.15, 7.30 and say, hey, we're going to let seven people in at a time. If you got a camera, you got to stand by media. And everybody got to put their name. You got to sign in and come in. So they were trying to stall so that that many people didn't come in. Then it was to capacity. So then it was only 40 seats in there and then standing room only. And then they had the chief say it's to capacity. It was a mess. It was a mess. So Jedediah was pulling that open meeting um, that you have to abide by it. We're still trying to get in, open public meeting. So still trying to get in, but she thought it would work. And it wasn't until I had been to something like this and no one, I, I stayed away from everybody. Did no one sway my judgment? It was nothing like that. I was literally seeing how people will be like, okay, that didn't work. Let's go back to the drawing board. Okay, this didn't work. Let's go back to the drawing board. It was full on manipulation. 
this lady, I don't know. I I, try, I didn't put her on camera because yes, that's still my thing. If you don't want to be on camera, I'm gonna not put you on camera. Um, this lady, her back was killing her. She kind of like was having an issue, and I was like, "Can I help you with her husband?" Because uh, it was like, now why it's six? It's six thirty. You got people out here, walkers, wheelchairs, and canes. Let them in at least the vestibule on a seat until you open up the what they gonna do put them on the seat at least but it's this scariness and it's i want to hide they didn't even let the trustees in a different way they had put the trustees out through the crowd and we just cheered them on it was just that kind of energy like that was put out there like the whole everybody inside the building was smarter than everybody else we got them. They don't know what's going on. We super smart. Ed was live. I'm happy Ed didn't get in too because he never he could cover what was happening on the outside and the other people had coverage on the inside. Me too. I think he did a good great. Um, was that former trustee there to support? Probably. I don't probably. I think so. Yeah, I think he was there in support. Yeah, I think he was. I will. I think so. I think so. Trustees, Mrs. Norway said the parking lot next week shall be trustees and residents assembly. And if she wants those bills paid, she got to go over there to the um, park district, aka we could Stephanie House. I watched the public comments. Lacey threatened to end the meetings if anyone clapped. Yep. And that would have been a violation of their rights, right? Right? Delgado, y'all. I was saying over there on Shade Channel on Late Night Crew, I said Delgado gonna be like, "Look, here's my resignation." <laughs> he gonna be like, "It ain't worth it. it." I know you said you gonna double my pay. Um, <laughs> it ain't worth Delgado. Delgado, give him two weeks. He out of there. We couldn't hear some of the dog mean too. They lowered the volume. Oh, yep. Carl Wilson had to use her sister's name, so they left. I was wondering. Because they were checking. Okay, so when I was outside, let me give you this, uh, Eric Beecham. Thanks for being here. So this is what happened. We were outside, and it was a lady that came to the door, and basically she wanted some of Tiffany's supporters. Like, they had car blanche. Like, they were able to come in, <laughs> side door, front door, whatever door, um, if they were going to speak highly of the mayor. And that was that, for sure. So they got first dibs. So I can't wait to see the public comments because I remember the people that said they were in support of her. Thank you. Please hit the like button. Um, Mara said, girl, I had anxiety. I wasn't there like you were. I'm, I'm so proud. Genuinely, nothing but love for you. Thank you. I was anxious. But when I saw them blocking us in, when I saw them blocking us in, um i was like why that's not necessary because people were parked at all angles so what you think people ain't gonna go down a one-way street that they want to get out they're gonna get out of here regardless um so let me start at this first video hit the like button thanks for being here i'll get to the rest of the comments i appreciate y'all so much um and yeah it was interesting it was very interesting Mr. Y said more Dalton residents should be at a township meeting and clap loud since Chief Lacey has no jurisdiction in South Holland. And I see Chief Lacey actually at the board meetings, Mr. Watts. I do see him. Him and Keith stay at those board meetings. Yes. Thank you, soul man. Hit that like button. You guys, I am still chilly. It was wet and cold, but it was worth every moment. I hugged a lot of people. I got to see a lot of people. I met Miss Lucille. <laughs> I got to meet a lot of you in the chat. I met Mr. Lee. I met Miss Cheryl. Um, you know, I try to stay. I, I, I not. I try not to. Um, I try not to get in people's spaces because in my head they're trying to mentally get ready to talk about their loved one, to talk about what the village is taking them through. So I try not to get in their space. So um, I, I wasn't trying to be standoffish. That's just how I am. You know what I mean? Um, I might change. You know, we all evolve. Let's go ahead and let's start where I first got to the assembly. What a day for Dalton. Mr. Lee was out there and he let the women and the, uh, the people who had any kind of... Uh, 
ability situation to go through. Okay, let's start where we started at. Because, <laughs> y'all, it was a blur. It was a blur. Okay, let's go. And thank you. Hit that like button. Thanks for your support. And thanks for dealing with my little raggedy phone. Oh, I hope you're not upside down. Let me see if you're upside down. I thought this was an appropriate to go live. Just a little bit. Do I have y'all in here? Yeah. Going live just a little bit. It's under uh I actually gotta find a find find a way. I would like to probably collab with somebody on this, but I'm gonna get back to my inbox. But um you guys, I hope you guys, yeah, you can see. So we're out here. We got Nate Rogers. Let me move out the way. Try to move out the way. So it's now six If you guys are just joining me, I'm sort of doing commentary on myself to tell you what it was like to be there. So, Miss Vivian, it was great seeing Miss Vivian. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get together over here at the park. It was great seeing Miss Vivian. Now, this is before they opened the door for us because, as we know, Miss Vivian got in. Um, I wish I. This is crazy. I know how passionate she is. I actually was following her today in Dalton politics, and she said that she was doing radiation. So her and her little baby, they were on the way downtown to get her radiation treatment. And she made it back in time to do this. Um, I had a lot of conversation with people in the crowd because Miss Vivian was totally misunderstood. Um, I was trying to tell them, well, you know, she had a tumor, like some of the crap, cause some of the people that came, they weren't from Dalton. So they didn't know what was going on when she was sort of like pushing through, like, let me in, let me in. Sorry, I got that in my robe. She was like, let me in, let me in. I have a walker. I, and she kept on screaming that she had a walker. And I think you might hear it in my video, the next video, um, the lady was like, she ain't got no walker. What she, I said, she do have a walker. You know, she's a patient. And then um, I heard the news lady, she had a one-on-one -on -one interview, I want to say with Channel 7. Now, they'll quote me allegedly. But she cursed so much. When she finished, she said, I can't use none of this. And the cameraman was like, okay, we'll try this way. And she was like, I can't use none of this. So I want Miss Vivian to, and I, I'm not trying to tell her what to do. If she's coming across, letting us know she's ed educated, a professional, a survivor and a fighter to maybe um, not change who she is, not change her passion, but maybe, I don't know what I'm trying to say. So let me shut up. It was just something where I kept on having to tell people, yeah, let her in. I know she young, but she has a walker. I know she look young. I know she's a little rude to you, but she has a tumor. I'm giving y'all what was going on from the ground up. So, you know, you know what I mean? Just giving her, just giving y'all what was going on, my honest truth. Um, I was so happy she spoke up, so happy she got the news clip, but, and um, it was just, it was that for me. Like, I kept on having to defend her from afar, and I, yeah, if I'm lying, I'm flying. I, I kept on having to say no, because they were like, let the, I hope I caught it. You'll hear this lady in my video say, let the cry baby in, let the cry. And that's how everybody was like, oh, here she go again. And I was like, Miss Vivian, you have to let these people know that don't know 
which you and sometimes when you're screaming like that which i don't know if she can help because of her situation they didn't understand her plight that's what i'm trying to say meeting her like getting that energy i got the energy from her and then i got that energy from kiana belcher and she doubled down when she wore a late night crew hoodie i was just all for a trustee belcher but um yeah i need miss vivian to maybe like when i saw her on the dalton politics to not put your son out there but when she had her son with her it was just a little bit better it was just a little bit better she seemed more calm so maybe bring somebody that's in support of her of you and you could get through it better mm. Her angry is her anger is absolutely valid, but people don't know her story. A little honey will get you a long way. Her her anger is valid. Like she said, I'm a cancer patient. I had to pay for my own wig, and she was saying that, and I was like, yeah, like what? Um, if if she was helping with the campaign, Miss Vivian, that's who's sitting here right here. If she was helping with the campaign, helping with the dyna dynamics of of helping Jason help Tiffany run. Uh, she should have been the first one to get help from the Tiffany Henry Cares Foundation. And they lived in the same proximity, right? So she should have been the first one to get help. So I'm with her. She is valid. I just hope that whenever she finished, because I think she put in here, she's almost finished with radiation, that whatever she has to do, because she's so passionate, that she's able to come through a little differently so people will listen to her because that is what i'm telling y'all what i experienced on the ground but happy that she left just let me tell you this the lady left radiation she left her son and she came out to fight for dalton so a win thank you miss vivian just wanted to tell you what happened um Oh my God, Big Mike, somebody said, we'll talk about it later, but Stan Brown, somebody said he was related to that Brown guy that was the football player in, um, on the West Side who, who allegedly uh, unalived his mother. You know, the guy, what his name, I forgot his name. It wasn't Orlando Brown, was it? But the football player, they were saying that Stan Brown would run around and say that was his rel his relative all the time. And then now he's, he don't say nothing. I don't know how true that is. Okay, let's hear more from Miss Vivian. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Watts. Sar, Sar, uh, Sergio Brown. And that's amazing, Trav, said he mentioned that yesterday. It was Sergio Brown. Yeah, they were talking about it outside. They said he, at first, it was, I'm Sergio Brown, cousin, blah, 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 blah. Now he don't say nothing. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> A couple of work supervisors just arrived. Well, where everybody else at? Hey, let me make sure that this is a lawful area. Okay. Oh, Jedediah, is it okay if we film you? Yeah. Okay. Where's everybody else at? Yes, I'm sorry. Police coming. We're just trying to wait on Jedediah Brown's commands on where we move from here. 
Yeah. He's trying to figure out. Okay. Yeah. What's your YouTube? Uh, Midwest Accountability. Midwest Accountability. Yeah, right now. Oh, great. Is, are you an auditor by chance? I'm a cop watching, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. I come up from Peoria. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. This so we have, can you say it one more time? What is it? Midwest Accountability. Thank you so much. Yes, okay, so we got Jedediah. We got Midwest Accountability. We have the officers going in. We got, uh, that's our public works supervisor. Gotta get lower than that. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. So again, what I was observing. Okay, so at the Midwest Accountability guy, he had all kind of equipment. Y'all, I got to get some of that good stuff for you. <laughs> but y'all hung in there with me holding my phone. The police was going in by the droves through the back door. I was following Jedediah because I figured he knew where the juice was. And then um, it's Officer Stacy, I mean, Officer Stacy. Superintendent Stacy stood outside just to make sure public works was doing what they needed to do because they were putting up those orange barrels everywhere. And they also had trucks blocking um, the streets off along with the police. So I just wanted to let you know that's why Stacy wasn't sitting up there. He has the locks. That's why he wasn't sitting up there with everybody else. He was going around because he was making sure public works was basically barricading the area off as well. Um, we got trustee Edward Steve. Um, he's out here just making sure that everything stay peaceful, you guys. Just making sure everything stay peaceful. Um, hope you guys can see it. I'm on StreamYard, so I don't know how good it's going. Yeah, so we're out here just seeing if everything stay peaceful. Um, hashtag LNC. I'll be joining over there and see what's going on over there. It's peaceful. It's peaceful. That's Miss Marquita. She was pulled over. You see the blonde hair? She... What's, your, what's your YouTube name? Burgundy Blue Commentary. <laughs> Burgundy Blue Commentary. Thank you, former trustee Edward Steve. Hope to see you back up there. Thank you. So um, I was in the back of the building because I figured that that was I would could catch Andrew Holmes possibly coming in. That's what I was trying to do. But uh, former trustee Edward Steve, I just want to let y'all know he was going around from citizen to citizen, basically making sure we was OK, letting us know we were safe and all kinds of good stuff. He was really cool. He was really cool. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Y'all talking about you saw WGN? Y'all, it was Telemundo out there. Telemundo was out there too. Everybody was there. Sorry, I'm running around. Oh, this is Miss Trina. They're trying. They're trying to make sure it rains on everybody before they let us in. Yeah, it's about to rain again, guys. The rain is falling. The rain is falling. So shelter will be over here. The rain is falling. Y'all, Miss Trina was like, if they don't get in, if we don't get in, they don't get out. She was on it. I know that's right. <laughs> Uh oh, Miss Trina has spoken, y'all. Hope y'all are still in here. We're just trying to give you a little bit of live. I'm on StreamYard, so I don't know how much. <coughs> and the mayor's been here all day. We see she's been here since about three. 
but she loves the people and ain't nothing to do with that. <laughs> The woman I was standing next to was so cool. Um, she was like, so at this this point, it's almost an hour. Like you said, almost an hour. And they just and she said, but she loves us. There's nothing we can do about it, right? <laughs> I, was, I was in Shay Live, and they said, them turkey neck bones didn't get, <laughs> didn't go that far. <laughs> so you guys, I got to get back and put my beans on. Y'all know I'll be at home putting my beans on. I don't have, but this is, this is what's going on. So that means the median's going to go to maybe 9 o'clock or public comment might be cut out. Sorry, guys. It's starting to rain again, guys. It's starting to rain. It's starting to rain again. I don't have any of this cool equipment like they got. I'm just out here with my phone. Okay. I'm going to try to fast forward it, guys, because I don't think nothing happened right here. I was still nervous. Okay, uh, uh, here we go. Let a guy speak Oh, that's you. That's you. Hey, y'all, I'm trying to say my voice is different, so can y'all listen? Where's the whole house? Where's the whole house? Now you might hear the people behind me. Now you hear that voice? That's Miss Vivian. <laughs> I was like, Miss Vivian, y'all please let Miss Vivian in. But they couldn't see, a lot of people behind her couldn't see she had a walker, A, by her being so young, and she was standing, you know, upright, but she needs the walker for support. So they were looking for like a little old lady with a walker, perhaps, but Miss Vivian had the walker. So that's her voice you hear. That's why I was like, I was trying to smooth it over. All of y'all. Oh, no. Look, where's <laughs> <laughs> y'all i was trying to stop the crowd they boo it i'm like no no y'all don't get it and that's i think it was mara in here she has a valid way to be anger angry for sure it's what's going on but then is it the tumor doing that or is that her personality you know nobody knows so it, it, i remember her saying on hannibal great interview by the way well, hannibal is hungry that her tumor changed some of her personality. So I'm wondering if that's the case because everybody, y'all, that's her screaming right there. So if you're just joining me, I'm giving you background on what it was like to be on the ground. That's what it was uh, like to be on the ground. Look, where's Shay with the tunes? Supporting us, he's another auditor, guys. Right, so stop us. But if they can't let us all come in, they can't have none of us. 
Y'all need to hear what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I heard this a long time ago. So, y'all, I'm just showing you what it was like trying to get in the door. So, at that point, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get into the meeting. So, I did a second video. And at this point, I was like, let me check on some of the seniors because they were like under the shelter, shelter of the other building and trying to sit like on the curb. And a lot of people saw that. Um, what can we do to help? Can we get you a snack? Can we get you some tea? And that's where I went from there. Right here, I knew I wasn't going to get in because uh, one thing that everybody agreed with was let the elders in first. Yeah, because they want who is. Yeah. Yo! See, I gotta watch you like this. Okay, guys, I'm trying to step away so you can see me. So you can hear me, rather. Okay, I'm stepping away. So um I'm stepping away so you guys can sort of hear what's going on. Seven people only can get in at the time. We're barricaded in. Uh so look, if you don't know your way around Dalton. <laughs> The girl burgundy go get up out of here just follow me but <laughs> i'm like the superman <laughs> you want the you want the tea get it for me um so we're basically barricaded in from these streets here you see down here this is stopped we got the public works trucks and then it goes all the way over here so jedediah brown said you ha can't block traffic and it's about to rain guys it's raining on our head it's about to storm heavily heavily it's about to storm so we got to get the seniors into shelter. Um, oh, my goodness. Can I help? Wait. I'm not trying to. Hold on. I'm not trying to put y'all on camera. Can I help y'all? Can I help y'all anyway? You know what? You know what? This is it. Yeah, get out the rain. Do you want me to get your umbrella or something? I'm good. I just need to bear back. I'm good. You're ready to the line. Okay. But so this couple, they were at the front of the line. And when I recognized the lady, I heard her speak before. But she couldn't. St she had been standing out there since 530 trying to get in because they're supposed to let you in at 6. And she couldn't stand no more. The police officers were out there. They weren't offering her a chair. It was just terrible, y'all. It was just terrible. And y'all know me. I be trying to, I know people post a film. I haven't gotten used to that. Or you. I just didn't want to put her on camera and she was hurting. You know what I mean? So that's what happened then. And that's when I started the mission to see if I could get people what they needed, um, you know, when they needed something. I'm going to just fast forward because I can't remember if I showed her face or not. Uh, I'm probably going to, uh, sorry guys, so, I'm so sorry this is messed up. I just wanted to go live really quickly. I can't see y'all because I'm on StreamYard, so my camera is facing the other way. Um, now it's about to rain. It's about to thunderstorm. They're letting only seven people in at a time. Jedediah Brown said if everybody don't get in, then he's going to claim. Let me make sure this is on. Can you guys hear me? Hope you can hear me. Um, he's going to do the Opus Meeting Act. We don't know if that will work. Um, I just wanted to stop and just see what was going on. Um, you guys, I can't see you guys. Um, I appreciate the prayer, the prayers. If anybody sent me Cash App, Super Chat, or anything like that, that I appreciate it. I'm about to go get some of the seniors some hot tea because it's really, really, really cold out here. And we got seniors that's been out here for... An hour, so I'm gonna run to Dunkin' Donuts and get a couple of seniors a cup, a cup of coffee or tea. You know, they don't know me, so who gonna? It's only I don't want to be like, you want some tea, and they think I put something in it. So, um, the few that I know, I'm gonna go grab them something hot to drink. Um, yeah, this is where we at. This is where we at with it, y'all. So this is what's going on, and it's a couple of vloggers here. Um, there's a couple of YouTubers here. It's the police are lined up in the back. The trustees have went in. I have not had a sighting of 
Andrew home. But you guys, it's people. I'm going to put the video up. Jedediah moved the freaking thing. He moved the barricades, right? So he moved the barricades and what they stand in line and blocked it with his their bodies. So he y'all, I gotta show y'all that I gotta find that video. So when <laughs> Jedediah had this ride or die with him, this lady, she was like, You can't block traffic. They didn't care about them blocking it. So you got four corners. They didn't care about them blocking the three corners, but they were saying you can't block that fourth one. You have to let traffic go through. It's it's the law baby these people they were like volunteers public works all these different people they had like these vests on they started using their bodies I got, i'm gonna pull up the I, we were shocked i think i got the video i was like and so the lady said she said and thank you so much guys y'all so nice um the the lady said how how much is she paying you that you The lady said, how much is she paying you that you go block, use your body to block a car out the way? That, let me see if I got that video really quickly. Because they then they had to go get cars at that point. Let me see if I got it. That was crazy. It was like, I might not have it. Let me let y'all. I'm going to play it again. And thanks, y'all, for being here. Let me play it again. Play this and then find it. He asked, so one of the girls who were part of Jedi, because she said, how much are you getting paid that you will block us with your bodies? This is ridiculous. Black people are coming in. So the media has been let in. So that means if it's now currently 7 o'clock, um, that means a lot. That means that um, the media won't start to about 7.30. They want seven people come in seven at a time and you're to sign in. Some people are saying that's illegal because you don't have to sign into a government building. You guys know I'm new to this, so I'm not sure if you have to sign into a government building or not. I know nothing like that. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of the people you see at the board meetings here. So I found out later that they wanted people to sign in allegedly because they wanted to try to vet the names because it wasn't the same faces. So they wanted to try to vet the names and all of that stuff. And then they, when you sign it in, you get a good look at Adam. Whereas I'm so glad that Kara used another name than what we had. So I want to share with you guys. This is when the police were walking through. They can't walk it through, child. They can't walk. This was the front door. Now, I didn't know Dalton had this many police. I was like, wow. Now, I want to show you. I think this is when they started barricading it. Thank you, uh, Big Mike. We, I'm, I think this is when they started barricading. And I think this, I think this is where I, I was on this and my iPad. So let me see. I think this is when Je, Jedediah said, You can't do this. I think this is it. So Jedediah moves the barricade. Y'all, it was so funny because 
He was like, dude, you gonna block it with your physical body? Because <laughs> it was just a car trying to go through. And then she was like, how much they pay is she paying you, dang? <laughs> And they're blocking physically body, physical body, and they're also blocking a uh, car. So we're blocked in completely. So that's what's going on, guys. You're blocked in completely if you come to Village Hall. And he's saying it's a right that we do not, they do not block traffic. And so since Jedediah Brown moved these small barricades, they decided they're going to block us in with the cars and bodies. So this is so funny. Mr. Y said, is that going to be your new sound clip? How much is she paying y'all? <laughs> hey, you guys, if you just joined it, we got 172 people in the chat. You know that is huge for this small YouTube channel. Please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And all the ways to support your girl is below in the comment se section. You being here is enough, but we do have Cash App and all that good stuff. Buy me a coffee and all that good stuff. That goes right back into me traveling through, making my way downtown. <laughs> Dodging Lacey and I'm homebound. <laughs> I'm trying to make it. Y'all, I was parked so far. <laughs> I almost had to hike. I was like, look, I need a way in and out. I got my parking space there, but I was like, I got I gotta get in and out of here because I don't know what's going to happen. So I said, wherever Miss Tiff Park, I'm parking too. Cause if she get out, I'm getting out. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, and thank you so much for being here. So please hit that like button. Okay, that take care of housekeeping. So yeah, it was so much going on. Um, so let me take this down here, making my way downtown. <laughs> let me go back to I think this is it right here. No, this is where the police walk. Then let's go back to the video. And thanks for being here, y'all. The it was very tense, but it was nothing like family. I think the only time people got kind of uh upset was like, you're not gonna let the seniors in, you're not gonna let people sit down, and you're gonna try to uh cut how many people could come in there, and it's not gonna work, and it did not work. Thanks to the trustees. Y'all know over here, I was just wondering, like, why the trustees are not going to do... Thank you, Jennifer, for the $5 cash app. Thank you so much. Thank you. They go right back into the gas tank, girl. Right back <laughs> so I can make these ride-alongs. Um, We was like... I, I would be like, not we, but I would be like, well, what, what are the trustees... The trustees showed me today. I... Kiana Belcher showed me today. They showed me. They showed me. And that's what I love that I'm over here and I'm able to learn as I go because I'm not into politics. It's like, huh, here's my card. What I vote Democrat, what I do. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's it's usually that, you know. Now we see how important it is to make a sound decision when you go vote. Okay. Very important. I got some personal phone numbers and some information from people. So I'll take that. Um, they let the YouTubers in as media. So I'm going to have to get that stick with the phone thing, guys. Because I'm holding my phone like. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's go back up. But I'm, I'm able to maneuver. 
I'm able to maneuver on feet, y'all. On feet. Seven people at seven people at a time would take forever. Yeah. Oh, you guys, we got trustee Edward Steve in the building. Former trustee, but he's still the people trustee. <laughs> Sorry, we got to give you that title. I know you like cringe, like people trust deeply. But Edward Steve was definitely out there for the people. And I want to say, trusty Steve, I was so scared to say anything to you today. <laughs> and I didn't want to bother you. Thank you for answering my questions. I, I thank you so much. And you guys, the next board meeting is the 8th. I know he was like, this chick is worse. And then she hear me say the 8th. I was like, you mean the eighth, as in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or, you know, eighth, as in the fifth. <laughs> so thanks for being there. And um, thanks for answering a lot of questions, because we all leaned on you tonight to answer the questions we did not know. We did not know. So thank you, Trustee Steve. <laughs> I was scared. I was scared. And he didn't even give up my identity until he saw me out there going live. He's like, you might as well. What's your YouTube? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I got a lot of questions answered tonight, so I'm glad I didn't stay in the car for this one. Let that stay in Wait. Now, I want y'all to hear the <laughs> y'all. We just talking about it because I'm re I'm I'm trying to uh share with you guys what the experience was. So this is again where I said I'm gonna reach out to Miss Vivian. I don't know her. Uh, I'm gonna reach out to her probably when I get more time because right now my uh, it's prom season is super busy for me, but um. This is if y'all please listen to what's going on behind me. And that's when I had to tell people, no, she's sick. She's sick because she was saying, let me in first. And then the people was like, no, she's younger. Let the other people in. I was like, no, she's the cancer tumor survivor. You, you probably seen her on this show and this show. and You heard her speak. You know, I had to say that. Um, so listen for that. That's what was going on behind me. So I'm trying to give y'all what the vibe and how we we probably didn't understand what was going on. Like I met a lady out there crying, and I was like, "Why is she crying?" And then she was telling me about her son at the um, Polish stand. I knew nothing about it, nothing about it. So we all learned stuff together out there. <laughs> Okay, so this is the thing. This is the, this is the thing. If you okay, this is the thing. Um, this is how I feel about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to get anybody. Okay. <laughs> they don't want to be sorry about that. Uh, I'm not trying. This how this how I feel about it. If and y'all, I still got the attitude. I don't want to film nobody that don't want to be filmed. That's still my attitude. Cause y'all see, I'm moving away from the camera. So this is my thing. If we cannot unite, Jedediah is trying his best, and he got a couple of people with him. I did see two people with a bull horn. Horn. Um, if we cannot unite out these doors, th something's gonna. It's gonna call the meeting off. Let the elderly in. Let the disabled in. What is the problem? I don't understand. Okay, we got Jedediah coming around. Let's see what he's saying. Y'all, y'all already know. <laughs> You hear 
hear the crowd. They like she tripping. Oh, let her cry baby selfie. And they going off, but nobody knew her story. Like they didn't know her story. So that's what we were. I was like trying to hold the phone and just like tap somebody. Like, uh uh-uh. uh, like no, like uh uh-uh. uh, uh uh-uh. uh. Because they didn't understand what was going on. Because besides the walker, Miss Vivian looks normal, right? Looks like, the, you know, she just went to work, came home. But today she had radiation. So that what was going on with the crowd. They was like, well, no, we ain't letting you in. <laughs> she like, I got a walker. They like, and? <laughs> and it was really weird. It was kind of awkward at first. So that slowed the process down. <laughs> Why would y'all create this? Why would y'all create something like this? This is ridiculous. Now y'all see your sense of fighting to get in the building that's wrong. That's right. Yeah, so Jedediah is talking to the officer. I might have a clip of the officer when she came out to basically try to chastise everybody like I'm giving you advice on how to handle yourself. And I agree. Someone put two lines, um, one with uh, the, the seniors and the disabled, possibly, and another one for people that let them in first. Because that's what we'll, we'll know that next time. Right now, I think everybody was in a panic because they want to, you know, it's that public comment. And you only got three minutes to turn into two. And they had so much to say. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Um, especially Miss Vivian. She has a testimony. She had experienced a lot all the way from the campaign to now. So it was people. Remember, this crowd is not just Dalton citizens. It's people from all over and they don't know everybody's story. So that's what's going on. And he's checking the person that's signing people in. That's wrong. Now stop this man. We had heard about the police, everyone reads Soul Man's comment. You would think that the police would have help with the organization. Now, we have heard from people that she controlled the police. This was my first. Thank you, Brittany, for the cash out. Thank you so much. Um, This is the first time I saw it was no choice. Like, they had to do whatever Lacey said or whatever the mayor said. Um, They weren't helping with nothing. You weren't going to get no help. No seniors, no elders, no nobody. Okay, guys. I can't. I was there, and wait, wasn't Long Island there too? But I was there. I have not seen no metal detectors. Now, if the metal detectors were there before and I missed it, let me know. But I have not, I did not see no metal detectors before this. Before this, this is crazy. I see y'all. I'm I'm recording. So so what happened? Y'all know Miss Vivian. Miss Vivian is saying she was here first and she got a walk and let her in. Then it's some of the other seniors that said that they were here, let them in. Then it's some people. No! Hey, we're trying to get them to move it, let this be done. I need y'all to step a, take one step back. We're going to make sure they do right. We don't got to, we're not desperate. I'm not letting the door close. Okay. All right. So, Jedediah is saying he's not letting the door close for people to take a step back. You know, over here on Burgundy Blue Commentary, we listen. <laughs> So we're taking a step back. Um, you guys, I am going to probably turn off. I, I, I can't tell if my live is even going through. Thanks for being here. Uh, seven people at a time, and they want you to sign in, name, phone number, address, sign it in to get into this building. Step back, everybody. 
and the rain is coming down. So they got they got Lacey at the door. Lacey's at the door. Let's see. What what time is it, guys? Y'all put the time in the chat. Put the time in the chat. Time stamp the chat. So when I come back, I know how long it took us to get in. Time stamp the chat, you guys. It is raining here. It's cold here. It's cold. It's raining. It's, you know, I'm going to go across the way until they start talking just to get some shelter. I'm going to go across the way just to get, so y'all can tell it's raining. So I'm going to go over here just to get some shelter right quick because I didn't. All right. I'm gonna go to the second video because yeah, that that was crazy. How um, <laughs> delusions of grandeur, <laughs> amazing tribe, yeah. And it was weird because um, the chief came to go. It was like they wanted to see us squirm, wanted to see us struggle, but everybody stood together. So I couldn't tell what was going on, on the inside. Because for most of us, it was important for the seniors to get in. And then I kind of ended it there. And then I went on. Oh, Hannibal is hungry. Thanks for being here. He gifted five Burgundy Blue commentary memberships. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you for your support. I didn't get to make it over to your channel yet to see. Um, I didn't get to over your channel yet to see what's going on with the hazel what was going on with the live feed i was out there but i did not get to see what was going on inside so i gotta check out your commentary check out him well, i'm gonna tell anybody check out hannibal is hungry y'all are I, i'm saying anyway y'all already know who he is um but let me tell you <laughs> i follow him <laughs> i always gotta bring this up hannibal i was out there door dashing during the pandemic and i was following his gig work that's how i found him but I found him when he <laughs> he busts out DoorDash Diaries. And I don't, I know it wasn't supposed to be funny, but it was funny to me. And he was like, and DoorDash Diaries was like, yeah, I got a gift card from DoorDash. They did pay me something, like a little gift card. <laughs> it was hilarious. You got to see it. Thanks again. Thank you. And um, yeah, I appreciate it. The energy there was amazing tonight. The energy there was amazing tonight. Oh, being forced to sign in to join a public meeting is illegal see we didn't know this you should never surrender your fourth amendment right to be able to express your first amendment right thank you for that miss indias hey sis i saw the video of the meeting inside and i was not impressed after the last resident spoke all but one of the trustees left too i was surprised shout out to the trustees i kept on having it in my head like i think i I said this in a live and trustee Edward Steve got in the live and said, it's nothing we could do, but we will, or something like that one day. And I know he's a former trustee, but he does stuff from the, just supporting us from the outside. We can ask him questions. I appreciate that because I was lost on what the meeting continuance was. I was super duper lost and we were able, not just me, but other people was able to trust, uh, t t touch, <laughs> like tap him trustee former trustee edward steve and say what does this mean like what does this mean when they say this it, what can happen okay if they block this what does this mean he was able to answer our questions like okay if they're if if we're what is what's the next move and then to see the trustees pull their biggest uno reverse card out amazing um no they didn't i didn't see anybody require id so many said, I heard they were requiring ID. Was that true? I didn't experience that. Um, but I do remember they said they wanted you to sign in. They probably did want some IDs. It was, it, and it was really peaceful. Everybody had each other's back. Okay, let me go on to the second part. This is all I, look, this is all I got, y'all. This, <laughs> this was all I, I was like, let me go back. I went and got the coffee, I mean, the tea for a couple of people. And, um, Let's go ahead and see. I think that was me on the way back. So I I was just talking, letting y'all know I was on the way back. Yeah, I was on the way back. Getting out the car. 
That's Jedediah. Now, I want to talk about how I felt at this point. I was shocked because in my head, and I told y'all I'm going to talk about it more in a second. In my head, uh, I felt like Jedediah might have not came for Tiffany, but I think I think they were trying, this is me, me in my head. I think some people that supported Tiffany was trying to suppress Jedediah to not speak on Tiffany, only Andrew and the situation. But after he saw, when he got on ground and saw the treatment that was going on and then the Easter situation, because remember, he said, we're not going for Tiffany Haynard, like he always says, <laughs> but we're going after Lacey or we're going after, um, we're going after Lacey and we're going after, what's the other person? Uh, uh, Lacey and Andrew Holmes. And he would say, we're not going to come down. Um, uh, he even mentioned because she's a black woman, we're not going to come down on her. Then slowly, little by little, like me, he started. He, you started to see his personality show through. Now he was like, "No, this ain't right. We're gonna have to stop it." So she has to go. Now another thing, like I said, y'all didn't know, but the uh, Chicago crime chasers, you could go Google it. They were beefing, so it was a lot of them beefing too. So I was scared this was going to affect the protest, but um, Jedediah held it together even after Andrew Holmes didn't show up. Let's keep going. So I'm giving you my point of view and what I was looking at from the ground um, up. at the podium so we know the meeting has started with the co public comment so people still like want to come in and then even though it was only 40 seats there you'll see later on we saw that it was plenty of space for it to be more people but now we know that she was trying to make it like we said i think i was telling y'all uh, a couple of videos ago i think she's gonna make it where um she's gonna make it where it's a capacity on who could get in. But that Open Meetings Act came to the rescue. Is Jedediah from there? Jedediah is from Chicago. He's from Chicago. Sarah J said, I saw people banging on the window. Yeah, and I, wait, I was standing by somebody. I was like, sir, please don't do that. <laughs> what I'm right here. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I ain't gonna let you take the fall. Just, just move out my way, sir. Please, please, good day. We cracking no glass, and then we all in trouble. Who shut that down? 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 Who
the meeting has started, but I think they're going to get some citizens dressed. And they're going to put their hands on the way back. I need everybody to go back. Excuse me. So, you guys heard the, the meeting start. Hi, Mr. Lee. You know what's going on? Huh? No, I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I just, I just, Mr. Lee, you know I have a YouTube channel. You know what's going on? These people cannot get in because they have no more capacity. So you guys, I, I'm telling you, everybody was out there hungry, thirsty. I didn't even mean to get trusty Edward Steven there. He was just seeing if I had another piece of gum. I had went and got some candy for some of the seniors, and I thought I did. So, um, because it everybody mouth was dry, nobody had no water. So next time it's a rally, I bring a couple of cases of water because it wasn't no water, it wasn't no candy, wasn't no sugar. It was dinner time. People just got off work. It was a mess. <laughs> so I and then I'm I'm filming on Streamyard. So I did I couldn't reverse my camera. So that's why everybody's out of angle. I'm basically trying to put it on them, but I really can't tell. So this is Mr. Lee. He was very upset. He could not get in, and I was sad we didn't get to hear him speak uh, this time um, on the podium. There's enough room for everyone, and obviously this is not the case. So I know I've been standing here since about five years. Other people have been saying, "Look, a lot of us did not get in." Yeah, because we usually look forward to hearing what you have to say. So that's what we, we usually like looking forward to. What you have to say. This is crazy. I'm we usually sorry. try to look forward to what you had to say. So we want to know, did you have anything you were going to address the citizens with today? Oh, absolutely. I yeah. just want to point out the fact that, that we are sick and tired of being treated like dirt. Uh, we are sick and tired of her weaponizing our own police department against us. We are sick and tired of her locking out of our own taxpayer paid for village hall once a month on the minimum. We are sick and tired of her. Of her uh, knocking out business permits, refusing to grant licenses to people because they wouldn't uh, contribute to her campaign. Uh, we are tired of her taking the people's paperwork. Those, those, those documents that she's promised to turn over to law enforcement, uh, that belongs to us. That's not her stuff. But yet she comes to a meeting and pretends it's her stuff and promotes her private, her private YouTube thing. She shouldn't be doing that on, on, public, on the public eye. Mm -hmm. And she's doing that illegal. Mm -hmm. she's, but she's using our stuff. Mm -hmm. And she will not give it back to us. We're waiting for somebody to step up from the state and help us. Yeah. The yeah. state needs to step forward and help us. We should not have to go through this. Yeah, and they're, we're still locked out the building. And they're, they're, they're in the midst of a, of a meeting right now when we're out here. They're doing it right now. And we should be there or here somewhere where they, they have room. Yes. And it's not happening. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Thank yeah. you. Um, because I think they say, are they saying they're gonna let us in after public comment or they're not gonna let us in at all as far as I know. They said they're at capacity. Oh my goodness. This is what they're saying now, they're at capacity. Okay. They started the meeting anyway without us. And it's such an important meeting because uh her, her veto of her investigation of her will be overwritten in this meeting. It's gonna get overwritten along with a lot of other important business, only because. We had a meeting a couple of weeks ago with Honor in the, uh, what is the name of the place? <laughs> I'm sorry, the Park District, mm -hmm. and they put it on the agenda. That's the only, reason, the only way we can override our agendas is to wait for next month and, and do it here because she will not do two meetings two a month. Two a month, yeah. And we haven't had that. This is the 12th one. 12, this is the next one to be number 13. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Lee, thank you for all you're doing for the community. We love to see you up there fighting for us. I wish I could do that now. Right now, I'm so upset. I can't even think straight. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Lee, you could tell he was back there fighting in the day, right? And I apologize to you guys that was looking forward to seeing his face. I couldn't really, I had StreamYard, like I said, if you're just joining me. So I couldn't gauge where my camera is pointing. So once I get like my phone together, I'll figure it out. But I'm glad we got to hear what he had to say. At least we got that. Okay. So they like, let us in. Let us in. Let us in. Let us in. So 
uh, it's no way to watch the board meeting. And that's it. That's, uh, there's no way to watch the board meeting or anything like that. So we're trying to see. And we also look for Tiffany's support. I don't know. I was trying to see if that was Mr. Larry, y'all. I was going to ask Mr. Larry some questions. I couldn't tell if that was Mr. Larry or not. Because so, I was going to ask him. I'm probably going to go back when he finished listening to see if that was Mr. Larry. If y'all know if that's Mr. Larry, let me know. I have some questions to ask. Him. So we see some guys. You got to You causing all these folks to be some private business over there um let me know how this let me let y'all know this stephanie we didn't really make it in i'm trying to see if i see stephanie i'm trying to name the people that didn't make it in <laughs> Miss Miss Cara, I believe got in. I believe Miss Cara. They're saying justice for Alexis Wilson. Justice for Alexis. So this is me standing in the middle of the street, guys. This is it. You're trapped in unless you know. Um, this is a peaceful protest. This is a peaceful protest. You got Jedediah Brown over there. Um, we have. AATV, he's over there that he didn't get in as well. So they're doing their best. It's a peaceful protest, peaceful assembly. Man, I, I'm trying to fast forward because so I think this is Miss Vivian finally got to the podium. Alexa's mom just, I believe she just left the podium. And I was trying to just peek in because we're on the outside. Of course, look, duh, we're on the outside. Um, somebody put in the comments. Um, so why is she so confident she will be reelected? I think she was more confident before today because, in my humble opinion, um, Dalton wasn't making the moves that need to be moved for the voices to be heard. If if I'm making sense, okay, that's what I think. Yep. Shut it down. Well, I can't see nothing because I'm I'm blocking it. Let's see where I was going right here. You ain't gonna correct me. You know she wrong. You, you gonna what? protect her. You, you gonna us protect out. her. You sold us out. Sell us. Who protect her? 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 You will sell out. We 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 will sell out. All these racist ass cops. We don't need them. We don't need them. Back up. Back up. We want freedom. Freedom. All these racist ass cops. We nope. don't need them. We need them. We ain't going to do shit. Nothing. Okay. Don't Let me move you. from him. <laughs> Let me move from him. You ain't going to do shit. And then I'm standing behind him. Let, <laughs> let me move to the side. The lad to the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it? 
what I say is that, that man gonna say, you ain't gonna do shit. And I'm standing right behind him. I was like, okay, sir. So, you know, when you're standing alone, <laughs> when you're standing alone, you make those comments. However, we're all, you're telling the officer with the gun right there, you ain't going to do you. I said, let me glide on out. From him. You a sellout. You a sellout. We love freedom. Let me move from him. Y'all heard him. You ain't gonna do sh nothing. Della creme, Della creme, Della. <laughs> Thank you for being here. <laughs> I appreciate you, sis. What he say? He said you ain't gonna do shit. I said, okay, let me let me move away from him. So this is a peaceful. <laughs> this <is> a peace, <laughs> sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. I had my church finger out. <laughs> Up. Tipping out, tipping out, <laughs> have my little church finger up like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Let me move from him. You ain't going to do shit. And then I'll stand behind him. Let, <laughs> Let me move to the side. The lad to the side. We represent the taxpayer. We represent the taxpayers in Dalton. It's a ghetto fabulous mayor. Y'all protecting this ghetto fabulous mayor. I would be in bed Oh, so they let people in while we want to know about the They let them in before. Come on with the allegations. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they even tell the trustee. The trustee said, I have to go through that door. I've got it on the floor. I've got it on the floor. And he had to beat on the door. Look, everybody needs to understand. We talk and we talk. And I'm starting to recall. The people are going to recall. I'm going to file the paper because we don't have to pay for it. We don't have to pay for no recall. Y'all got to sign this. Okay, I'm following Mr. Lee. That was Miss Cheryl. That was her grandbaby with the Easter egg. They got plenty of room in there. They got plenty of room in there. room in there. Let's see. We can tell by we can tell by who's at the podium. I'll check for you, Jenny. Let's see. Let's trust check in with Trusty. Uh Trusty, is this still a public comment? Is this still public comment? Still public comment? Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Still, oh, I'm sorry. You okay? <laughs> hey, you thinking the sorry. Yeah. He wanted to. Y'all, me and that lady had bumped booties. <laughs> she, she, she had, oh, she, <laughs> she was dressed like that lady at the, not not dressed. She was built like that lady at the Thornton Township with, uh, <laughs> Long Island audit with it. Me, me and her bump booties. We was like, boo, oh, sorry. <laughs> it was a mess. <laughs> so no, he couldn't hear if it was public comment. It's still public comment. We're gonna try to sneak through and look. And I'm gonna get up out of here, y'all. Because uh, I'm hungry and I'm cold and I'm out here helping the seniors. Come on, bring your out, you ran around in my shit. Okay, guys. So let me try to read some of these comments. Ooh, Lord, it's raining like crazy. I hope my phone is not. They hear y'all outside. You guys are nice and loud in there. <laughs> Yes, yeah, still. Thank you, Cash Money. Still public comment. So I got to take a couple of more seniors to the bathroom because there's no porta potties out here. They have to go to the bathroom, and um, you know I'm just out here to get the footage. So I figure I could pause on the footage. It's enough people on YouTube doing the content, so I'm just out here getting footage. 
Um, and I'm going to take a couple of you to the bathroom and I'll pass out some more sugar snacks. Because some people were like, I'm hungry. So I had like some fruit snacks. Um, let's see. You ain't protecting nothing. You burning my gas. You driving my motherfucking car. We pay for this shit. Was that Miss Trina? Miss Trina didn't make it in. So that was a disappointment. Um, yeah, so don't forget. I guess the, the hottest thing would be the veto to so find out. Find out. No. Gotta be peaceful. Gotta be peaceful. Oh, Kara's at, she's at the podium. That's she walking up. Oh, they got her to she signed in for public com so Kyra Wilson is gotten up for public comment. Let's see what's going on. Oh, she's she got up for public comment. She got up for public comment. She got up for public comment. Excuse me, love. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Excuse us. Did she make it up? Y'all, I was squeezing the best I could, y'all. I'm sorry if it's not good footage. <laughs> I was trying my best. I was squeezing in there. So we're looking for Kara Wilson. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about the paper. They put some more paper. We can't really see right here for the damn paper. Can I see? I see. Okay, now this is the part I want y'all to understand. So we're on the outside, but we really can't hear what she's saying, but we're just watching her body movement. And then it's when they, we see, we see, you guys didn't see this from what I understand, but from what I saw, she got put out. They put her out her and the rabbi can y'all let me know if you saw that inside the meeting i haven't watched the meeting yet but they put her and rabbi out from my eyes what i saw so let me give you that angle They put Tara Wilson out. We're waiting to see if Jeff. Thanks for that. Uh, Della Krim Della told us they put the rabbi out. She left with them. Okay. Because I was wondering, like, what happened? Because um, everybody started going to a frenzy. So I started running to the back because I figured if they were going to put her out, they would put her out in the back. I, I just ran to the back at this point. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know what happened from the inside because I'm outside, guys. Let me know. Um, but I did see Kara Wilson get to the podium, which is monumental. I'm just gonna back. I'm just gonna bounce back a little bit because I saw police trying to escort her out. We'll try to see this. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Try to okay. Move out. Y'all, she was gonna whoop my ass. <laughs> Looked at that. I was, she said, You in the way. I said, Sorry, she was like, I will toss you. Let's go. So, as you can see right here, the police started to get kind of riled up because, um, I think they heard what was going on, on the inside. At first, their lights wasn't flashing and stuff like you see now. Then they started getting on the bull horns and all that stuff. You can I'm 
going to follow Jedediah to see what he's saying in the back. Um, and then, guys, I'm going to get on out of here because this is this is getting quite sensitive here. So I have the back here. And you guys, make sure you, uh, I forgot to say, to, there she is. There's Alexis Wilson, mother. She did the same thing. No, she is all over on the on the on her. So, and I said, and you're doing the same thing you did every time somebody talks about her. You look here, 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 but you never look this way. You never look at the person who's talking. No, yeah, I say what I have. All right. We love you, Cara. We love you. We love you. Look, I'll be on with you later. Okay, justice for Alexis Wilson. So they put Cara Wilson out. Uh, let's see what's going on. So the back is the emergency management. Here. Uh, emergency management. They're getting people up out of here. Um, Andrew Holmes did not show up. Uh, um, it's public comment for a little bit longer, I think, that after they got her out. That's as far as I know. Um, I want to shout out Stephen. Thank you for the four dollars super chat and for what you said. Uh, I just want—I mean, not the super chat. Sorry, four dollar cash app. Let me tell you something. You don't have to give me anything. You and then definitely, if you gave me four dollars, you don't have to say sorry. That's all you. Have. Thank you. That four dollars go right into me and my ride along. Y'all don't have to give me anything. Hit that like button, please. We got 151 people watching. If I can get to 125 likes, I'd appreciate that. Brings more people to the channel. We out here. We in these streets, and we'll be out there on the 8th. Oh, so I'm walking back and forth. <laughs> as far as I know. Yeah, still talking. Okay, guys. Uh, I've got to tell you, hit the like button. <laughs> i got to get home and drink some tea. Uh, This is... She's out. She's out already. I know she's out, but they man have one. We need to protect our survivors. Yes, they did. 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 And this is what I said. We have to protect our fucking survivors. And see, that's what I saw at the end. Um, like you see, Stephanie is there too. Bless her heart. I found out just then she didn't get in. Stephanie is out there, and she said they took her and physically removed her. And then this young lady who, like Jedediah, didn't see anything because Jedediah saw the out as we saw as we went around the corner. He saw just her leaving, and she was pretty cool with it. But they're saying that they, at some point where I guess was out of view of camera for me, they took her and physically removed her. Did you guys see that in the inside? I didn't see it. I just was wondering. It's fucking traumatizing. They put their hands on her as she was speaking and they cut her out. They stopped this time. Listen, I think that's what was her time still going? Yes. Because so they, she was talking about her daughter. So they cut her time? Yes. Okay, so Jedediah is trying to figure out what's going on. This still a peaceful protest, peaceful assembly. But they put Kyra Wilson out. She is. I'm telling you, they pushed her out. I told you. She came out the front. I'm telling you. They put her out at her sister's. She did. I think she had the car right here. So, guys, we got everybody. Don't know nothing. They don't protect the body. So you guys were inside the board meeting, so you saw what happened. I couldn't see. I'm running back and forth. I'm sitting running back and forth. So guys, let me know what's going on. Um, we're out here. We're out here trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out together. Let's see.
hard work is, is going to be a difficult road to get out. Difficult for some people. It's a difficult way to get out. So I'm walking around just trying to see what's going on a little bit. Just for a little bit. Hey, news knew I was. It's all you hear right <laughs> yeah. So did they remove Alexis's mother? I missed that part. Um, I'm I'm trying to get as much as I can. Like I promised some seniors, I'll go grab them some stuff. So I'm gonna see. Uh, let's see. Are you live, Rabbi? Oh my God. Where can we find you? My name is Buddy Blue. I have a YouTube channel, so I just want you got better equipment where people can find you. <laughs> Okay, thank you. So he got all the equipment with you guys to see what's going on. Oh, they shut it out. Shut that down. 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 Shut and basically, what man has done is he violated several laws. Okay, they're walking out, guys. They're walking out. So this is the moment I guess you guys saw um, online was when they adjourned the meeting, which I thought was epic. I saw it on Late Night Crew. That was epic. So they adjourned, adjourned the meeting. So all we heard was they're getting up, they're walking out. So this is what we saw. So we're going to follow Yes, sir, it's over with. Just that. Just that. They shut it down, y'all. Now, Burgundy Blue about to go look at the back. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Let's see if it's any escapees. <laughs> I was running looking for the escapees, like uh, Stan Brown or somebody. <laughs> they said they're shutting the meeting down? They're yeah, walking? Yeah, the guy said uh, something about uh, uh, Jason House motion for them to uh, like put the meeting on hold. Wow. Yeah, so is that a true. good thing for us, though? Because today is supposed to be a veto. So is that a good thing for Dalton if they shut the meeting down? Uh, It kind of, sort of, yeah, because everybody that's standing outside waiting to get in have a right to, you know, oh, for the, be present. That's okay. Okay. The um the meetings act. That's what they're saying. That's okay. And Thank I was just talking to the lieutenant over there. He was like, man, you know, the only reason why they're doing it is because they're at capacity. But I was letting them know it's a law that she has to find something bigger yeah. when, when there's more people that want to attend the meeting. Yeah. And she, and she, she's not interested in doing it. So. Okay. Like yeah. an auditorium, the, yeah, the basement, exactly. any That's other correct. thing could could be a way. You think 149000 on a Tahoe, you can spend a few dollars to go get something. So, yeah. That's exactly right. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you so much. They could use the auditorium at Thor Ridge High School, I think. 
that's big enough. They could use right go right up the street to the Thorridge High School. So much that you yeah. and one more time for I, I have a small YouTube channel, but one more time where people can find he's an auditor guy. So yeah, time with Terminator Audits, man. Y'all make sure y'all go uh subscribe. Everybody that's gonna subscribe. I love you guys so hard. And what's your and matter of fact, shout your channel out right uh, now. Like, Burgundy Blue Commentary. Burgundy Blue Commentary. I'm a dog knight. Former <laughs> slash dog night. Dog I'm, dog in I'm in between. I'm in between. Burgundy blue commentary. Burgundy blue commentary. For Thank sure. you so much for coming to support. For sure. Thank for you. Sure. Okay. So now we're gonna see the trustees walk out. So it says, so Mr. Watts says, so when the trustees left, they tried to go through the back, but the police chief and Freeman told them they had to go through the front. Oh, because even even they couldn't get in through the back, but they went in through the back. Isn't that crazy? Was, yep, and they had nothing but love and support in the front. So we saw another auditor. Remember, I was saying we need black auditors. We we're out here. So they said, mate, Jason. So is that a good thing, guys? I'm I can't be in the meeting. I don't know. So, oh, this is trustee Tammy Brown is out here. We have the clerk out here. Oh, we have trustee Tammy Brown. We got Clerk T out here. Trustee Tammy Brown, Jason House. It was some survivors out here. Trustee Kiana Bell, Trustee Brittany Norwood, Trustee Kiana Belcher. Thank you, Trustee. Thank you, Trustee Kiana Belcher. Trustee Tammy Brown, Trustee Kiana Belcher with her photo album. Trustee and Trustee Jason House. Brittany Norwood just went that way. So there's Jason House, guys. Kiana Belcher in tears. Trustee Kiana Belcher, thank you for all you're doing. Thank you so much. Um, we have so many people. You're in tears. You're in tears. Are you okay? Did you get to speak today? Who's your son? Can you tell us? Y'all, I'm sorry I'm so loud. It was so loud there. Um, But this young lady, I didn't know what was going on, so I wanted to go over there. And her son, he was unalived at the Maxwell Street on Sibley, so she's going to share her story. He was murdered at Maxwell. She called him Jimmy, for all the people who walked in, my son was shot. And she promised that they were going to close down. They didn't get security. They don't have security up there. Everything still happens up there. She won't answer the phone or nothing. It's like she threw my son under the roof. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. No, yeah, he was there bad something. He, they got no camera and everything. Everything. So yes, please, please. So they were encouraged her to go to Channel 5 to talk and tell her story. And you know what? She is right. It's absolutely dangerous up there. And she was saying that uh, the mayor promised that they would get, uh, if they didn't get cameras up there, she would shut them down and nothing has happened. And she said, basically, at least answer your phone. She's not answering the phone. It was heartbreaking i didn't know I, that's what i was going to run into poor this poor woman like she was heartbroken like it's no it's no way to describe it like she like i'm trying to get justice for my son and other things are happening and and this is what made it so um what big heart big heart she had um she was like i'm trying to get justice for my son and it's still stuff happening up there so she wants to bring awareness even now knowing that her son is gone she's trying to help the other people that might end up in her situation or her son's situation and that's why she was there for that kind of justice and that just was great yeah. and my condolences to her son and i'm sorry i'm saying her son but didn't you say hey did you get to speak today so, uh, yeah. Lacey cutting everybody off. He 
Who's your son? Can you tell us? Son, Christopher, Christopher Warden. Warden. He was murdered at Maxwell's. Christopher Warden. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to make sure I got her his name because I did not want to, you know, we have to say his name. to let the news take it from here channel five is here um let me try to step over here i'm just gonna cross over right quick uh maybe we can ask trustee edward see what that means what they shut it down i know he's former trustee but he may know what that means Finish. I think he's talking personal business. I'll ask, I'll ask him. I'll ask him for you guys. I'll ask him what that what that means. But you know what? We can probably ask. We can ask Jedediah what it means because he's handling personal business. We want to know when the next meeting is and what does it mean that this meeting ended early? Does that mean that the business is postponed? Well, the next meeting is next Monday on the 8th. The next, next meeting is the... Okay, guys, the yeah, next meeting is the 8th. It's another former trustee. Is it Valerie? Is it? No, oh, hi, Mr. Pierce. So how you doing? I just want to know... Oh, look, I'm going to move out the way of the news. We just want to know two things. So the meeting is on the 8th. And that's all we got to do. Okay, that's all we that's, need. That's when we're going to overturn the vetoes. Uh-huh. And that's, that's going to be a legitimate meeting. Okay, so today's meeting just pushed back the business to the 8th. Hopefully that meeting's not canceled. And that's all we know for now, guys. So we had two. Uh, thank you so much. Um, so we had. So at least we know what that where that goes. I don't like to put people on camera that don't like to be on camera. So, so put them on camera now. Just talking to the Okay. Have you ever seen that before? No. Oh, no, I don't want to put him on. He don't want to be on. Yeah. No, him. Oh. Yeah. I, we hey. just want to know when the next meeting is the 8th. 8th at the Park District at 6.30. And that's going to be the trustees meeting? Yes. Okay. Yes, she so, can't control it. Even if she said tonight that she, that's not going to happen, she can't control it. So they'll have quorum? Yes. And then um, that will be enough space for everybody, guys? Yeah, everybody, anybody can come. Okay. And nobody can block that. So April 8th, what time? At 6.30. At 6.30. Thank you. Thank so you so much. Pay attention to the Dalton Trustee YouTube page, the Facebook page. We'll post the agenda and everything on there, and we'll send out an email blast for it. Okay. Thank you. All right. That's former Trustee Edward Steve. He yes, gave us the information that we know. So we at least know that it's supposed to be next on the 8th. So they can't shut it down. So there we have it. So they did not let they didn't let Miss Cheryl Hill in. She did not make it in. So is the meeting still going on? Absolutely. But no, I have a question. Is the meeting still going on now that everyone Yeah, but it's not a it's not a legal meeting. Okay, I have quorum. Thank you. Okay, so they're still meeting, but it's not illegal. Okay, we're gonna get up out of here. Per Jedediah say so. Let's go ahead and get up out of here. Y'all, Jedediah don't have to tell me nothing twice. I mean, let's get out. Uh, Burgundy on the move. <laughs> With my little run emoji. Burgundy on the move. Boom! I be out of there. <laughs> um, yeah, guys. So that's where we have it that's what we have it's it's what's going on um the trustees left so it's not a legal meeting guys so they're over here so we have all the trustees over there we have to be there april the 8th 
to support them. So those are the trustees that y'all see. We got Brittany Norwood, we got Kiana Belcher, we got everybody there. Jason House. So those are the trustees. So I do not know what that meeting is called April the 8th. I guess it's another board meeting, but we technically don't know. Well, the meeting will happen because it's supposed to be two meetings a month and April the 8th, they will have it at the park district. So if it's at the park district, it's going to be enough room for everybody. So I'm counting one, two, three, four, that's out. So if four people are gone, they don't have quorum. Andrew Holmes did not show up. So that's it. So y'all, I did the best I could do out here by logging. <laughs> Let me look at your comments. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, so the meeting's over, so I have... All right, guys. All right, that was me on the move. <laughs> that was me doing the best I could do, y'all. I know Trustee Edward Steve was like, would you leave me the hell alone? <laughs> I, <don't... laughs> I didn't know who else to ask. Oh, shout out. Um... The real late night crew. Oh, Shay, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Y'all follow the real late night crew. Uh, Dalton and got him hemmed up, <laughs> but he's still going live for us every six days out the week because he don't work on Sunday. So thank you, thank you, Chavez, for being cold rain so <laughs> being in the cold race so trenches. I sure I still I'm still wrapped up in my little um. I'm, I'm up here wrapped up in my little blanket. Now, before we go, I want to see the meeting from the inside when Tiffany was talking to us. <laughs> y'all, y'all have to see the real late night crew. He had this Daffy Duck emoji. It's just hilarious. This little, <laughs> this little gift, it's hilarious. Um, so I wanted to see, um, what was going on over here? Let because I didn't I missed the whole thing. I missed the whole thing. So I want to see when they got up when everybody chairs started spinning. We missed it all out there. So let me see. I just want to see. And then I didn't know if Andrew. So Andrew Holmes. So this is my thing. So this is how slick it is. Like, so he didn't come to the meeting. So y'all still going to act like nothing's wrong with that? Now, he ain't never missed a meeting sitting there in his chair, but we're going to act like nothing's wrong with that amidst the allegations. You know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And shout out to Kiana Belcher wore the Real Late Night Crew merch today to a meeting. How cool is that? How do you show more support than that? That's that was that warmed my heart. So I want to fast forward past the public comment. Did they cut it off? Oh, so the meeting was this short. So y'all was on hold waiting on the meeting for that hour. We'll go over the whole meeting tomorrow. But y'all was on hold for a whole hour. They just had y'all on hold. I didn't know that. So I want to see when they get to leaving. That's what I miss. And I'm concerned also that there may be some violations of open legal action because we need to have a space where we know that there's uh, this many people. It's uh, really low. I'm going to make a motion that we postpone this meeting and continue the agenda to Monday. Oh, Kim showed up? I was wondering if Kim had showed up, y'all. Kim showed up. And I want to talk to all her feelings. Nothing has been done. My husband, Tavares Edward Davis, deserves justice. Thank you. All right. Is it one more? Go ahead. It's the way she'd be like, all right, after the next person. You know what I mean? But if it was somebody that was praising something, the alarm clock never goes off. And I like, okay, so we'll get to watching the full board meeting tomorrow. But I like that. See, I'm on the outside, so I didn't know what was going on. But they waited for, pub, they the trustees, y'all tell me if I'm wrong, but they waited till public comment was over to really pull uh, what they had, right? Well, we didn't see coming, the UNO card. Like, reverse, draw four. All right. Um, thank you for get your over here. Next on the agenda is general announcements. Do anybody have any general announcements?
Um, yes, Mayor. All right, go ahead. Okay. Um, I hear a lot of the outrage, and I think a lot of it is just around um, having the space that can accommodate. And I'm. Kara, thanks for being here. It was a pleasure meeting you. I did not want to bother you. I'm so sorry. So that's why I kind of was in the back. I didn't want to bother you at all. Um, thanks for being here. And, you know, what you did was so powerful. They can't bring your baby back, but the you're putting up the fight. You're putting up the fight and holding them accountable. Yeah, she's very good. Well, so my 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 um baby my husband deserves better. My baby was killed. Okay, next. Who? Just don't say nothing. Concern also that there may be some. If you're not gonna have compassion. Hey y'all, was the meeting this low for y'all? I think somebody said they turned this. I got the volume all the way up. Was the meeting this low? So who missing? Did Tanjanique come? I don't think Tanjanique was there. I can't tell. So Andrew Holmes is missing. I see Tanjanique chair empty. Hmm. Uh, this many people. Um, as such, I'm going to make a motion that we postpone this meeting and continue the agenda to Monday, April 8th, a week from today at 630 Dalton Park District, 14700 Everest. So that is my motion. Um, trustee, Second. we are not postponing the meeting. We are Second. here. Second. And basically, we have two items on the agenda. So we can basically continue with our meeting and get through the two items that's on the meeting. Oh no, guys, sorry. Had the wrong link. What's what is what's wrong with me? Why do I have this up? I got some up wrong. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry. I had the wrong thing up. Let me go right back. And thanks for being here, y'all. Um Kara, can you answer a, a question if you feel comfortable? You can do it in email if you want. Did they physically remove you? Because I know that that was in my video. Some people had said they physically removed you. And I, I was running back and forth. I didn't catch you to the end. Did they physically re remove you out? That is crazy. Please let us know. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So I'm just making that crystal clear. Claire, what are you what you didn't say? Wait a minute. When she said when she said, how about we handle the meeting and not let the meeting handle you guys? I, I what? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'ma look it, I'ma look it up. They, she said, let's handle the media and not let the media handle you guys. Excuse me? And I'm concerned also that there may be some violations of Open Meetings Act because we need to have a space when we know that there is uh, this many people. Um, as such, I'm going to make a motion that we postpone this meeting and continue the agenda to Monday, April 8th, a week from today at 630 Dalton Park District, 14700 Everest. So that is my motion. Um, trustee, Second. we are not postponing the meeting. We are here, Second. and basically, we have two items on the agenda. So we can basically continue with our meeting and get through the two items that's on the meeting. So my advice to the board is we are already here. Let's handle the business and not let the business handle you guys. We're not having no meeting at no Aye. Dalton Park District. So I'm just that's making that crystal round. clear. Clerk, what are you doing? You out of order. You out of order. Did I call the road? Did I say call the road? I'm still speaking. You're out of order, Clerk Key. You out of order, Clerk Key. Like, stop. Y'all out of order. Everybody want to run stuff. Y'all don't run this house over here. Stop, please. So, as I was stating, we need to continue with the business. We are here. People came to a meeting to hear. We have this reminds me of training day. I'm putting cases on all y'all ass. <laughs> she didn't know what to do and kudos to clerk key keep on oh wow 
This is crazy. I, I did not expect this. Wow. Have been doing in our village. The department heads, the lawyer, everyone's here. So I'm asking for you guys to sit here and to deal with what's going on. Trustee Tammy and that's the Okay, I wanted to read what Kara said. I was asking. She said, okay, so she sent me a link. And she said, it shows the police surrounded me. I kept saying, do not touch me. They didn't. But they did physically remove the rabbi. Thank you. Thank you. I, we're going to go over that tomorrow. Yeah, I saw him back out there. But yeah, no right. And then Lacey just felt like <laughs> he had no control. He didn't know what to do. He he was just, oh. Wonder why you have this function? This is the reason. So, so treat Belcher. If y'all walk out, y'all walk out. We got business to handle. Okay. All right, you so all go, ahead, go ahead. Handle your business, and we gonna handle ours. It's almost like a temper tantrum. And Delgado, he's like, <laughs> this one in my head. He said, uh, "You know, if they don't approve the bills, I'm not getting paid, right? And you already." a month behind <laughs> that's what i fear he said look at keith look at keith and then look at the don't pray for me guy his head over there they they just sitting there like <gasps> because it was a stance they had the people protecting them out front too it was a it was a day the energy oh my goodness it was a day to hear the powerful survivors speak about their loved ones that were taken away in dalton it was it, it was i am glad to have went i was nervous about going but when i tell you the energy and the love of the people it was really amazing um what the trustees did what the clerk did amazing i mean they back there just looking like oh man all right hey amanda it's a commentary channel but all you gotta do is go to the um Village of Dalton site and watch the full board meeting and you won't get interrupted. Mr. Watts says she cannot dismiss a motion. If it's on the flow, it needs to be voted on. Thank you for that. Thank you. There we go about knowing our rights, you know. Look at Stan. <laughs> Look at Stan. Oh, now this is when Lacey said they couldn't leave through the back. So that is such a jerk move. So they, so because they wanted to leave, they would. So if you look to the left, the trustees are lined up over there to leave out the back without commotion. I'm glad they went to the front because they were able to get interviews. So they said they couldn't leave out the back. They were trying to leave peacefully without commotion. And he's telling them no. Ain't that crazy? Like, how can you do that? They are voted in. Look at Kim leaving again. Quit. Kim, Kim, look at Kim. I quit. I quit, y'all. I quit right now. <laughs> I quit right now. Look at her. I quit right now, y'all. I quit. <laughs> Did y'all see Kim leave? I didn't even notice that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh my God, Kim, I quit right now. I quit right now. Call the police. Yeah, I call the police. Ma'am, can I get your name? Uh, no, no, I'm good. Not, not you, ma'am, I'm sorry. <laughs> ma'am, do you mind if I get your name, ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am. What's your name, ma'am? It's not very professional of you. You're quitting? Yeah. Why are you quitting? The next day. Hey. How y'all doing? Did we say she didn't quit? <laughs> 
Did we say she didn't quit, y'all? When the going get tough, Miss Kim gets to go, y'all. When the going get tough, Miss Kim get to going. I mean, she walking out. They walk out. Here go Miss Kim. She gone too. She look at her. She got the little plaid jacket. Look at her. They they said meeting adjourned. I'm out. Look look Miss Kim. Look at her. She look at her point. Y'all go out that way. Don't go this way. Look at her. Look at the reject. Look at her. Look at her. I quit. I quit my job right now. <laughs> I quit y'all. <laughs> oh. Stan Brown, he's uh Stan Brown is on the mayor. He works with Thornton Township in Dalton, so he wasn't gonna leave. But trusty Kiana Belcher looked like she was packing up her 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 belongings. Yep, she was packing up her belongings. And she probably had she probably was just handling the last minute business but she was definitely with the other trustee she because she got to carry her picture in every time she come because they won't hang her picture up so now we see how things work so she's like she was collecting her belongings with her late night crew shirt and they made the trustees leave out the front and what was in the front media let's listen Trustee House, I thought y'all was leaving. Y'all should come back, sit down, and handle the business, and let's finish to do what we came here to do, which is go through our agenda, but y'all give interviews. Can y'all all exit, please? Thank you. Y'all don't want to handle the business here? Say it. Officers that's a cute coat. Room. The media has to step out also. Clear the room. Business. Look, they didn't kick. That's a cute room. That's a cute coat Miss Belcher got on. And she had on her late night crew hoodie, guys. She was supporting um Shay Channel. Uh, uh let me tell you this. So she went over there. Look like I would love to know what she told Stan. Like, look, man, you know this ain't right. That's what my assumption is. But now when they couldn't kick them out and the media wanted to talk to Jason House, what'd she say? Oh, the media got to go too. They kicking everybody out. You got to get out. You get to stepping. Everybody can, they can step outside. Everybody. No, just the, the people here, they're fine. Everybody else, media included, has to clear the room. Here come Miss Quint. Miss Quint. Miss. <laughs> y'all, here come Miss Kim. She back from quitting, y'all. She back. is this thing on is this thing recording testing testing if you are staying please do so if you're not please exit so we can finish our meeting but you can hear from us as a body of what we do here in our village this is i think she uh is the, and i think she's in the water department she like look people don't come over there asking me anything but about they water bill <laughs> And I'm in the middle of this. It's the people's uh, building, correct? Important to note, how does another person have video off a of live that's different from Dalton's live? We're going to go over that tomorrow. Thank you, Kara. Yep, yep, because they altered it. Because isn't it the, one of the guys that was like, a what was his name? Um, Midwest something. I forgot his name, forgive me. But I think he was out the, in there recording the whole live and he had a zoom in camera. Because they really mean about business, not chaos, not confusion, not disruptions. That is not what we represent here in the village of Dalton. So for those that come for the show, go outside. So the showing is not in here. We're talking about what we've done as a community. So please, if you're going to leave, exit, and please shut the door so we can conclude our business here. Shout out to Midwest Accountability. He has the real 
information. Look at Stan. Look at Kim. They trying to disrupt. Already? All right, give me one minute. Like, just call it a day. Call it a day. Look at Stan. He's like, you sure we should do this? <laughs> that Delgado, I give him two weeks. All right. James, you ready? All right, we're going to give people time to clear out. And then on top of that, don't forget, Thornton Township had that lawsuit. Settle that little change. Write that check to watch dogs, allegedly. All right. Um, I want to thank everybody for saying that actually came here to hear what we do um, in the village of Dalton. As you just saw, is chaos amongst our four trustees. They didn't come here to handle the business. They came here to do a political theater stunt, which you just saw. We didn't get through any business as it relates to a scheduled board meeting here in our village, which we're supposed to do. But yeah, everybody cry about meetings and we should have more. Why have more meetings when it's going to just be chaotic like this? Our job is to make sure we take care of the business and not allow the business to handle us, which you just saw before you. It's a shame that every time it's time to really take care of things, such as making sure payroll is paid. Because guess what? They didn't vote on paying the police, the public works, making sure your concrete is down. They did not vote on none of that. But this is the things that I face as a mayor here in the village of Dalton. And it's sad because you're seeing it with your own two eyes. I can't make this up. Y'all see that people walk out at every single board meeting. You see when we had the other board meeting, they walked out when it was a $33 million um issue on the table where we're supposed to win a closed session. We would have made sure we was in a better predicament if they would have stayed and made sure they took care of the business. But yet, the media don't report that. It's good to see the media out here, um, but I wish you guys would come for the positive things and not the chaos and not the media show, because that's all this is. I get it. We're clickbait. We're hot right now, and I get uh, Delgado is turning redder than a beat. Do you see how he, he's flushed in the face? You see how fl flushed he is? He's like, oh. they got that Fiji water, y'all. I told y'all, she got to have Fiji. <laughs> Get it? This is what sells papers. But I wish you guys would have came to our Easter event that we had on, what was that, Saturday? We had over 500 kids out there, happy, running around, giving away baskets. It was amazing. But you should want the good stories just like you want the bad stories. But it's sad that people tell you false information with no facts they cover in their mouth so nobody could read their lips back there in the corner <laughs> and y'all run and y'all write it y'all know y'all can destroy people's lives by just writing things that's not true and then later that person has to sit there and try to fix what you guys have broken because y'all have a national platform so this is my outreach to the media which i said it several times please please do your research you guys call yourself journalism Please research the stuff before y'all put things on your national platform and hurt people that should not be uh, political damage because y'all want to make a story for clickbait. That's all right. I don't even understand where that came from, but I, I think I'm learning now not to even try to understand. <laughs> I, I I think I'm learning not I, not even try um, to understand because it's like, OK, so how did it turn about? But okay, it's like you leave this out. You had an incident on Easter with um Miss Cheryl. Um, you know, it was the whole thing with Thornton Township coming to Dalton. How much overtime did the Dalton taxpayers have to pay? You know, not 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 saying that the kids didn't have a good time, but you know, what was going on? What was the demographics? Nobody know because the budget's not there. So now you want to say you're not going to give us any paperwork, any finance, any anything like that, um, any transparency, but you want me to sit here and vote to pay bills that we don't even know if we got enough money in the bank account. That don't make sense. 
and I get it. People sell their souls. I get it. You want to be the hottest thing right now. I get it. You guys go and y'all get awards for who got the best story. I get it. <laughs> Yeah, that one. But this is crazy. But you want to have a podcast and you trying to be hot right now, right? It's so weird. Like, it's like, I wish she would stick to the task at hand. Stick at the task at hand. That's it. That's all you got to do. Look look at Delgado, y'all. <laughs> but please stop destroying people's lives and tell the truth, please. And then if you follow me, y'all should have paid attention to the Tiffany Henry on the Moo podcast. All the things that... <laughs> Lay it down, God. <laughs> Why are we bringing up this podcast where you did more damage than not? Y'all posted with all fake and false. I showed y'all the truth. Y'all get the same footage y'all had, but none of y'all played it. Y'all had to make it like we was lying, like I was lying. But you guys was telling lies and that's not cool so that is my information to you guys so i don't know how y'all gonna spin this meeting or say whatever but show the fact all the trustees walked out because they couldn't have their way and that's not how that's not why they walked out it, it, the meeting that you it was that open what is it open meeting law more people wanted to get in if you had more people that wanted to attend the meeting, you were supposed to follow the state law. That's it. That's all. Not because they couldn't get their way. How government works. Governments works like this. Good, bad, or indifferent. We work together. We put on a good collective front for the public and we fight in the back. But yet people came here for a stunt, a show, because all y'all came out. I don't never see y'all come out for nothing positive like this. How y'all came out like this? Come out to the next thing that we have. Just like y'all out here for the bed press which people won't click back so with that being said we're gonna get through what have i been doing as your mayor of the village of dalton and thank you residents for always supporting me loving on me and encouraging me and keeping me in your prayers because i no god okay because we really can't hear it because this is this is as high as it go up because it is the village of dalton tomorrow i'll regroup and we'll go over it from uh let me see if i can go over to his page what is it called Maybe we could catch a, a quick a quick clip. Let's see, because we can't we can't hear anything over here. Um, let's go over there. Loving on me. For 30 years. Okay, yeah. You see how use this tomorrow. We're gonna use this for tomorrow, guys. This is what we're gonna use. This link. Carl Wilson. That's it. Right? Um, thank you for your public comment. Next on the agenda is general announcements. Do anybody have any general announcements? Oh, yes, ma'am. All right, go ahead. Okay. Um hear a lot of the outrage and I think a lot of it is just around um, having a space that can accommodate and um, to turn off so that there may be some violence and the meeting is actually a space that we don't think there is uh, this many people. Um, as such, I'm going to make a motion that we postpone this meeting and continue the agenda to Monday, April 8th, a week from today at 6.30, Dalton Park District 147000F. So that is one motion. Um, we are not postponing the meeting, we are here, and basically we have two items on the agenda, so we can basically continue with our meeting and get through the two items that's on the meeting. So my advice to the board is we are already here, let's handle the business and not let the business handle the guys. We're not having no meeting at no own park district, so I'm just making that crystal clear. Carter, what are you doing? You're out of order. You're out of order. Did I call the road? Did I say call the road? I'm still speaking. You're out of order, Clark. You're out of order, Clark. Like, stop. Y'all out of order. Everybody want to run stuff. Y'all don't run this house on here. Stop, please. So, as I was saying, we need to continue with the business. We are here. Okay, so we need to hear. Man, shout out to Miss Cara and um, shout out to. What what is this? Um, hold on, I gotta make it smaller. 
Shout out to this YouTube channel, Firm Art Audits, F-I-R-M Audits. Shout out to them for getting all this good audio. Thank you. Because we couldn't hear nothing on the... I was on the Village of Dalton site. We have been doing in our village. The department head, the lawyer, everyone's here. So I'm asking for you to sit here and to deal with what's going on. And that's the problem. One of the problems we have this function is the Okay. okay so we'll watch that tomorrow but yeah we man so she closed the, <laughs> the meeting was i know she was like is this an april fool's joke is this an april fool's joke oh my goodness oh my goodness i gotta go back to this other board because i gotta see how this ends we only got five minutes. Let's uh, hit the like button if you're here. Can you guys believe this? So this is back to the Village of Dalton uh, site where you didn't hear any of that. Because as you can see, I'm under attack. So thank you. First, uh, I know we was going. To yeah, I think she wanted to cry. I think she wanted to cry right there to entertain a couple issues. The media wrote about Prabos who got shut down in our village for multiple shootings, multiple fights. But, okay, this was, um, 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 I'm sorry, because I might be, like, ignorant to this point, but I saw the agenda, and Pablo's was not on the agenda. <laughs> Pablo's was not on the uh, agenda. They They were not on the agenda. So thank you, Kim, for the catch. <laughs> it ain't Miss Kim, is it? <laughs> that ain't Miss Kim. Miss Kim will be like, no. <laughs> thank you for the catch. Um, because Pablo's not on the agenda. What they got to do anything? And that's because they got they got a license to open back up this week. So they've been back booming, able to operate with a state license. But yet again, this is what I mean about you guys not doing no research. Y'all just let that man go on the news and tell those lies. I'm going to let Chief Lacey speak to that because we shut them down. Yes, we shut them down here in the village. And then guess what? When they opened back up, they had another shoot. Another shoot. Did y'all come and write that? And all of but um, that's what the woman outside who lost her son, she was saying that the hot uh the polish stand where he was uh his life was taken they still have incidents and they won't shut them down so you can't pick and choose right what i'm saying to y'all is the fight that we in y'all don't live here you go off a hearsay what somebody told you and don't fact check y'all call me when a shooting happened but y'all don't call me when something positive going on in the community come on media let's build a relationship and stop letting people around us dictate what our relationship is this is my olive branch to you, and I'm going to keep saying it. Please fact check before you write about something that you know nothing about because you're in the middle of our political fight, as you can see. We didn't pay nobody today. No bills got approved. How do we fix the light poles on people blocks that they're crying about? Because the way y'all got it, people want to get... And you know what? She Tomorrow, that's going to be some stress. So does anyone know how that works? Um the bills have not been approved so to me this in my head it hasn't stopped her from using the bank account or anything else will she continue to use the bank account 
to um pay them and not get it approved then that'll get her in more trouble right right because now she's being watched watched right she's being watched for sure now so if she go ahead and pay people payroll without the approval she's in quite a pickle now would that mean everybody else would be a week behind in payroll be, until the next meeting can be approved which sort of forced her to be there to get that payroll approved i think oh i wondered so that's that's stressful isn't it they pay first before they come out and do work for us that's bad we a whole village a whole municipality that we can't get things done because of all of this negativity on our village and what hardens my i won't say hard my heart what hurts my heart is when uh, you got board members hurting their time, board members that's in government like me that don't care about where we're going to go in the next six months, <coughs> year, two years. Because at the end of the day, when the smoke clear, we still got to live here. We still got to get along. We still got to move forward no matter what. And we have to fi fix the chaos and the, the stuff that you left behind, guys, by just writing negative stories. That's not right. I don't see y'all doing that in them upper areas like how y'all be dragging us over here. I don't see y'all. But yet us every day, all day, y'all got us on your station. That deflection be real, don't it? Oh, my goodness. Like, wh what was they stand to hear? What was they stand to hear meeting-wise? What was they supposed to stay about to hear? To watch the bunny hop on the Jumbotron? I'm trying to figure out what they were supposed to stand in, in here, stand back in here. That's not cool. So I'm going to pass the mic to... Chief Lacey, he's going to talk to you about the nightclubs and all the issues we've been having in our town. So before y'all wrote them stories, you should have came and got real interviews from the people that got the real facts, not people that just accusing and lying on people that's going to end up in lawsuits and watch what you say, residents and other people that just go on the news lying on people. That's defamation of character. But y'all don't see that. Y'all just keep going with it just because it's traction for your network. That's not cool. All right, Chief Lacey, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. I, I want to comment on uh, a few things that uh, that have, have been developed in the uh, in the town. Um, first, I want to read off that the um, Down Police Department wrote 613 parking citations, 388 uh, state citations, 4,457 uh, red lights. We had six felonies, 93 misdemeanors. Um, our auto theft is down. We are also moving in the direction of a tactical unit. But unfortunately, I don't think that this is going to uh, get to the people to see because I see the media uh, basically closing up. But in reference to Pablo's, we've closed Pablo's probably multiple times. And what ended up happening is that with the state, they had an appeal. Well, with the appeal that they had, they were able to open up again. Right after they opened up, they had another shooting. Uh, and unfortunately, nobody covered that. Uh, I opened my door to the media if they want to talk, but obviously I don't think that's the case. I'm very proud of the Dalton Police Department. We're moving in the right direction in what we're going to do. Officers, we're gonna, we're gonna shut it down. Ladies and gentlemen, for right now, for safety reasons, we are shutting the meeting down. I, I was still out there in that area. I, I'm calling. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm at this time, I'm calling like sometimes they use that as a allegedly like, oh, safety reasons. We have to go. We got to get up out of here where maybe it was a setup to do that, like an overplay for the underplay. If I'm saying that right. And that was it. That's the end of the meeting. <laughs> oh, well, 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 well. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> just sitting there talking to the walls. And you know what? I my my door is open if any media. Yeah, I have a question. So why you uh, pull your handcuffs out? to that lady who's all of a hundred pounds if that 
and her and tiny five foot little tiny woman with a mighty voice and her poor 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 grandbaby why you pull them handcuffs out like that that's my question everything's an emergency yep when it comes to them y'all what a day we was out there we was out there i'm still trying to warm up thank you so much um yeah this is a great comment they have to create the appearance of having control of the situation that's why they are doing this instead of admitting the trustees were right and the reason for the move meeting to be stuck stop now let me tell you is some people going to go sleep crying tonight because i'm thinking about the payroll because if anybody can explain to me how they're going to get around that because clerk key back on the bank accounts the meeting is not until next week nobody getting paid bills not going to get paid and i'm sure that they were like oh yeah this week we vote on it you're going to get paid insurance probably not gonna get paid y'all it's deep man the block is hot the block is hot Ooh -wee. and they use a bunch of gas today driving around the police ready to barricade everything this was crazy crazy y'all all we can do is stand by stand by i will be back tomorrow i appreciate y'all that's hung with me <laughs> gotta play our clip ain't nobody gonna approve that and try ain't nobody gonna approve that ain't nobody gonna approve that all right y'all y'all make sure and shout out again to kiana belcher for wearing late night crew merch to the meeting I think that's just great for um, what they say, people that are not mainstream media and also great for Shay because right now we allegedly saying we think Dalton shut him down uh, with a mayor rather. Um, we don't know, but we think that. Y'all, <laughs> thank you, Miss Indias. Thank you. And the only people to blame is the current administration. Y'all, I know the hair, makeup, and wardrobe department was in the back like, wait a minute, they said Bill's not going to get paid. Are we still going to get paid for doing the mayor up? They had her all styled up today. Have a great night, y'all. And make sure you take care of yourself and each other. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Commentary blue. Commentary burgundy. Commentary. Commentary blue. Commentary. Commentary.